So this is the uh, Cubify uh, official solution for fixing your cartridge. This is a very uh, unglamorous uh, video, but uh, just straight to the point exactly what they tell you to do to fix the cartridge. So what they say, the first step is to actually open up the box here. So uh, I've already opened this box myself, but just go slowly side by side. Uh, it's going to feel like it's going to break, but then it's actually, boom, it's going to pop open like this. So then once you open it up, you uh, install it into your printer. So like so here on the side. Uh, and then what happens, what they say is you have to take the filament line, which I ended up breaking off. Uh, you should push it away and then inside. So what you're going to do is you're going to keep pushing it inside the... Uh, uh, inside this mechanism here and then it's going to supposedly push through the filament through this part here and then uh, it's going to end up coming out uh, from the other side. So essentially what you're trying to achieve here is uh, inside there is two cogs. So the way that it looks like is like this. There is um, there is a cog which is basically um, here um, and that's the, the cog that, um, that has the little you see on the other side, you see so the, the printer um, actually attaches, so the printer is rotates this, this part here that's in the, in the center. And what that does is that this cog rotates this way and then there's another cog here and then that's what pushes through your uh, filament line and uh, the filament goes inside the tube and then it gets pushed out, heated up and uh, comes out on the other side. So uh, I tried doing that with actually uh, two of them and uh, I failed, it didn't work. I, when you start pushing it inside, it came out and it came inside a little bit then it came out, uh, then it came inside a little bit more and you can see it's like very, um, it looks very damaged right now. But that didn't work so right now I'm waiting for Cubify to send me uh, two, replacement, uh, two replacement cartridges. Uh, but that's their official solution. What I would suggest is when you're pushing it in, an easy, uh, easier way to do it is by with the pliers. So just gently push it in. Otherwise, if you push it in too hard, it's going to break off the, uh, uh, the filament line. And uh, what I saw people do on the internet is actually uh, they even took this thing apart and then they heated it up because there was some plastic stuck here. Uh, personally, I'm not convinced that's the way to go simply because this thing is what gets heated heated up. So it gets heated up to a point where I don't think it would get stuck here. And uh, honestly, the plastic gets uh, stuck even while it's printing. So it's like, um, it's not like it gets stuck because it gets cold and it solidifies and then you're not able to push it through. Uh, it just gets stuck uh, by itself. But anyway, some people try to do it. So uh, me, myself, I took it apart at one point. Uh, I tried to push it in. This thing is aluminum, I'm pretty, uh, pretty sure. And actually, um, I used a lighter, butane lighter, and it melted. So you watch out, you can actually end up melting this, this thing. Uh, the official response from Cubify is that they're working on this to get this fixed. Um, we're January 2015, I saw some people reviewing these uh, cartridges before. Um, so yeah, once again, it's... Uh, as in the previous video I mentioned, it's a beautiful printer, everything gets printed out uh, fast. Uh, design is slick, uh, I like how it looks, the price is good. Uh, cartridges are garbage, so I mean Cubify has to fix this, uh, otherwise it's a pretty good cartridge. So thank you very much for watching. Hopefully it works for you. If it does, please let me know in the comments.